Hey everybody, this is Midnight Update. I'm Seamus Byrne. Welcome to Tuesday the 10th of March. Remember the CityRail iPhone app shenanigans I mentioned last week? Seems there is good news for the app developer, as all the attention has resulted in New South Wales Premier Nathan Rees stepping in. Like the rest of us, the Premier is asking Railcorp to just shut their pie hole, sit down with the app developer and come up with a way to share their toys. I love a company that doesn't get it, because in the end it usually will lead to a good story. Last week I almost mentioned the great Freeview piss take that's out and about on the web, but in the end I went with other stories. This week the video has been pulled by YouTube due to a copyright violation claim, so naturally, instead of fading away, the video has had a surge in coverage. I've got a link up at midnightupdate.com to one of the many versions still available. In a story where nobody wins, it seems Windows 7 will not offer Blu-ray movie support out of the box, and users should expect to pay around $50 extra for software that can do the job. Microsoft looks bad for penny pinching on what should be standard issue by now, though Apple doesn't get away clean either, they haven't really done anything with Blu-ray yet. And then Blu-ray looks bad because it's still going to remain a computing outsider. The big question is whether Blu-ray can get a genuine foothold at all before digital downloads take over. Is this a death warrant? Or do computers really matter in the whole home entertainment game? Or is Blu-ray already dead? Let me know what you think in the comments or via heyshay at midnightupdate.com. Late last week, Nick Bruffel over at Gizmodo Australia pointed to Sharp's new virtual surround soundbar. It's an SRS WOW HD system, which basically means it's not doing the really awesome sound wave bouncing tricks like the Yamaha soundbars do. But as a sleek and smart 2.1 channel speaker system to match Sharp's excellent AQOS LCD TVs, $299 is a great buy. Check out the link up at midnightupdate.com and take a look at Sharp's craptastic website. Seriously, it's got to be the worst consumer electronics company website in the business. We've got headphones to give away, and this week the phones go to Hamish Boyd. He knows his way around videos and offered some great ideas on how I can tweak the set to make things look a whole lot better. Hopefully some of these ideas will appear behind me in the not too distant future. So thanks very much to Hamish. I'll be in touch to give you your pick of the Plantronics headphones. Same prize offer for this coming week. A choice of either the Slim and Sassy Audio 645 USBs or the Heavy Hitting Audio 365s. Best comments, suggestions, questions or rants will take the cake. That's all for tonight's update. Thanks for stopping by. Join us weeknights around midnight Sydney time for daily geek news and for more coverage visit midnightupdate.com.